Dear Mr. President, I feel like because you were never held accountable to Marikana, you didn't learn the lesson and now you're about to repeat the mistake on a larger scale. The fact that you broke up the company and sold it off essentially means that you ran away. The families of Marikana can only remember you for how you impacted and changed their lives for the worst. You didn't fix anything. You ran away. Here we are again at the same place, in a different way, but it's the same lesson. You have a tendency of putting money ahead of your own people. You have a tendency to appease the white master at the expense of your people. You will never be able to rationalize why you're a billionaire in such a poverty-stricken country and we can't point to anything you have created. Mr. President, you are part of the capitalist problem that oppresses Africans on this continent. Your white solutions are not going to work on African people. We do not have equal footing. Lucky you, 21 days will do nothing to your livelihood. For the vast majority of us Africans, this 21 days is the difference between making ends meet and bankruptcy. You live in your nice big house in Sandhurst, while the vast majority of us, in just one of your rooms, we have to fit almost 10 people. You planned this quarantine from a place of privilege where you didn't consider the poverty on the ground. Have you ever been into a squatter camp? That's where a lot of your people live. Because instead of getting us our land back in 94, you ANC comrades sold us for big houses in the north and German cars. You can afford not to work for 21 days, Mr. President. We can't. You have a car for you to adhere to one person per car. Mr. President, the majority of your people are stacked up in dehumanizing, cramped up taxis and buses. Mr. President, you have never had to be squashed up in Maslalisa Nefofo, so you are in no position to talk so big. To a lot of us, you are nothing but a life version of Sergeant Sabella on Sarafina. Mr. President, you have now let loose an untrained army to go play power games in the townships. I'm yet to see the army terrorize the elite in suburbia, but it's day two of the quarantine, and I'm already seeing videos of army personnel abusing black people. You said spazas remain open, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Now let's address the fattest and pinkest elephant in the room. Mr. President, the people who are gaining the most financially from this lockdown is white big business. Again, we find you here in the middle of a situation where whites are benefiting while your people suffer. We are seeing the shopping stores owned by your white associates. Their stock is being wiped out at the speed of lightning. This is billions of money they're making. Billions. On Black Friday, they often report that they make more money in one day than they do in a month. That's millions in one day. This period of panic buying has lasted more than one day. Mr. President, your white friends are making a lot of friends from a lot of money from this. How are they giving back to the country in this time of crisis? I repeat, Mr. President, your white friends are making a lot of money from this. How are they giving back to the community in this time of crisis? Please don't tell me about the money they donated because that money is paying for itself in profits. We are paying for our own donation. Mr. President, how much are your white friends paying the tellers for risking their lives in this time? Or are the billions being made coming to you and them? I'm just asking. Okay. Because to me, it looks like you have sold the lives of the staff of Checkers, ShopRite and Woolies. They can get sick as long as your masters get paid. Mr. President, I don't understand your leadership. Mr. President, what should we do with our bills month end? Most of us live from hand to mouth, to be honest. So did you have a plan in place for us? How do we pay rent, electricity and water when you called for our work to be cancelled, but you continue and will earn your big salaries from multiple BEE incomes? I understand you MPs earn just under 100000 a month, so it's no wonder we don't see panic in your eyes. 
You told people to remain home, but a lot of people in Jersey are migrant laborers. I'm so confused. Were we all supposed to board our private aeroplanes like your friends and go back to homelands? You have put us in a scary position where once the Africans start getting hungry, we're going to have a Marikana part two because in Lala, Ibanga, Ulaga. I'm not scared of Corona, but I'm scared of the instability this period of hunger can create for our country. Mr. President, besides closing our taps of small income, what is your plan? How do we move forward financially? I ask you with humility and respect. And a side note, Mr. President, don't be fooled by the silence. Don't think us women didn't notice when you and Mr. Malema protected each other when the domestic violence smoke came up.